Hey there, guys. Hey, uh, so if you're trying to replay a dead ball era season, if you have experience looking at this, you know what I'm talking about. If you're doing a season between like 1901 and 1910, 1911, or even a little bit later than that, if you go do the uh, sporting news thing and you try looking through the sporting news archives, you're going to be really disappointed because unfortunately the sporting news archives are all really, really muddy and are not great. Um, and so instead of doing that, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a different resource that we have that you may or may not be aware of. Um, this is the archive of the old uh, Sporting Life uh, newspaper. If you're a Sabre member, you probably know about this because there are links to this on the uh, Sabre website, um, though you do have to search a little bit to find it. You might not know what Sporting Life is, so Sporting Life or The Sporting Life was a, uh, a sporting newspaper for all of America that actually predates the sporting news by, I think, a year. Um, I think it goes back to 1880, 1883, so probably more than a year, maybe three years or so, two and a half years. Um, and uh, the uh, Sporting Life newspaper was excellent, and it lasted for a little while, but um, at least the story I read in the Sporting News history is that Sporting Life threw in its lot with the Federal League and ended up coming crashing down with it. However, the nice thing for us is that Sporting Life is actually legible. So you go to this website. This website, by the way, is a good marker of how this should be done, how archives should be, because it's so easy to use. Go to the website. I click on. I want to find a certain year, so I click down here. It was um, on uh, show more to the year, so I could show all of the years here, right? And uh, let's see, what year do we want to look at? We want to look at 1908. Click on 1908. The dog starts barking, of course. Click on 1908, and then it loads for a little bit, and then you can see here are all the 1908 newspapers that show up on the side. We can look at this up by date. Well, I don't want to look at January. I want to look. I don't know, let's say I want to look in uh, uh, September, right? September 26th, click right there, and boom. You can click right on the newspaper, and it will bring up this page, which will show you the front page. You can go from one page to the next, and the thing you can do that I love is you can go over to download and click on the entire document. What this will do is it will download this entire page for you. And uh, the nice thing about having this entire page downloaded for you is now you are not restricted to um, having to look at this page um, on uh, uh, your browser here. So it opens it up automatically for me here on my browser. I go ahead and close that. I'm going to minimize that. I'm just going to open up the PDF here. And uh, let's see if the PDF actually does open. I have to double click it. And I'll drag it on over here to this screen. And you can see here is the full page. Pennant for Giants, maybe. It seems like they might collapse, they might not. As you can see here, though, everything is very, very nice, very, very clear. Make this a little bit bigger. Make sure that it's not getting in the way of my pretty face. And, um, yeah, three teams all still claim the National League pennant. And um, there's a, a poem by uh, Grantland Rice. And uh, we can look at their old editorial page. And the nice thing is, as we go through this, they did still have box scores. You can find all the original box scores. Now, that's not so big today, right, because we have everything on RetroSheet and Baseball Reference. But the nice thing is that you also have the game summaries. They're very, very brief, but you have summaries, you have attendance figures, and you have a bunch of other stuff that might be interesting, including time of game, who the umpire was. Back then, you still had some games with one umpire, some games with two. Man, one game in New York with one umpire. That's great, isn't it? Um, that's exactly what you want to see. There's a little bit more about what the um, upcoming schedule is and so on and so forth. This is really, really, really cool stuff. And, oh, look, you have it for the minor leagues. There's the Eastern League, and there's the New England League, and so on and so forth. You can go through this. You can spend hours and hours and hours going through this paper. Now, I'm going to tell you that the sporting life, as nice as it is, is not necessarily the be-all and end-all of newspapers. We're going to go through some other newspapers you may or may not know about, including other things on newspapers.com. There is better resources out there than just the sporting life and the sporting news. Some people are not fully aware of that, but you need to know that this isn't everything. There's a lot of other things out there that you can choose from and you can look at. So keep that in mind. This is just sort of like a beginning. But the nice thing is this is 100% free. I've got the link down in the description. You can go check it out for yourself. It's 100% free. You can download the PDFs. You can stick them on like your iPad or your tablet. And then if you're like me, you got to take the daughter to ballet lessons or something, great. Take the tablet along. You can do your research while you're waiting, you know, sitting there with all the ballet moms and stuff. And you can go click through your stuff and read about Fred Clark and uh, read about Frank Chance and John McGraw.
and you know think about things that actually matter in life. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.